In this video, I'm going to explain what heroic scale means. Warning, Uncle Adam is not a professional. He's usually not even very good. Try any and all of Uncle Adam's pro tips at your own risk. Void where prohibited, Uncle Adam is not actually an uncle. So when you start out new into the hobby, as we like to call it here, um, there's a lot of jargon, a ton. There's a lot of jargon going on. There's talk of all kinds of different things and words that you may not understand. And I want to sort of, sort of touch on some of those. But in this video, I'm just going to touch on one specific term, and that is heroic scale. Now, we understand that our models are generally, many of the models we like to play with are 28 millimeter scale. There's also 20 millimeter scale, there's 15 millimeter scale, there's six millimeter scale. And what that means is that if you took a normal human male and measured from, I believe, their eyes to the bottoms of their feet, if they're about 28 millimeters tall, then that's that scale. So if you took a normal human, I don't even know what a normal human's height is, but you decided that basically people are about 28 millimeters high, and then that's your standard 28 millimeter scale. Whereas a game like Flames of War, you know, the guys are tiny, so they're 15 millimeter scale. And when you start getting into micro armor and the games like that, where a tank is only this long, then you start getting into things like six millimeter scale and whatnot. But what is heroic scale? That's the question. People you you know, throw that term around a lot. And, and for the longest time, I didn't know what it meant when I first started, and then I found out. Heroic scale mostly has to do with Games Workshop. You will notice that nearly every human that you see in that game is just ripped, just stocky. Even if they don't look like big and muscular, like look at any given uh, Imperial Guardsman, like this one right here. Look at the wrists on that guy. That guy's wrists are as thick as my thighs in comparison. If you were to actually like take a look at a person, if you really looked at a person, if you saw an actual human who looked like an Imperial Guardsman, you'd be like, what is wrong with that person? That is, I hope that I don't get it, whatever it is, because it is like they are just, their arms from the wrists to the elbow, it's just all straight. Everything's very, they're very powerful looking. And that's heroic scale. Um, it has to do with basically the proportions of the body in, 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 in relation to, say, like what an actual human would look like. Here's some images of normal scale models where, you know, they're properly proportioned. Now, there are downsides, obviously, to making your models properly proportioned. Their little tiny wrists and ankles are going to be kind of flimsy, but they're going to look, you know, if that's your personal preference, that's great. There are other people who are like, I only like to play Games Workshop stuff, or I only like to play stuff that's heroic scaled, because most of their stuff is, because I just like the way it looks. Everything is very, you know, when you're looking at models from a long distance away, it's just like the contrast video I did about, you know, how when you're looking at your models from a long distance away, you want to add in a lot of contrast if you want to have that visual thing going on. You can watch that video up there. But if you, uh, you know, if you like to look at your models a little closer, then you don't have to necessarily put in as much contrast. This stuff is the same way. It's the same type of stuff. Normal scale models with, you know, normal wrists and ankles and legs and, you know, necks and stuff like that look better, but from a distance they can look a little anemic and skinny, whereas heroic models, especially if they're painted very, you know, contrasty, can look amazing from a good distance. But that's the difference. If you are if you keep hearing this term going around like, oh, I like that stuff, but I wish it was heroic scale. Heroic scale just basically means big, yet still stocky, very thick around the wrists. I'm not sure what the wrist thing is, but you know, thick everywhere. And that's basically the difference between what an actual human would look like and what, like, a heroic human would look like.